We are still one year away from the premiere of the final season of Game of Thrones. However, HBO and some of the actors have been giving us little breadcrumbs about what we can expect to see when the Epoch television series returns. At this point, it looks like Westeros could either go up in flames or get frozen in the long night. Either way, we should be prepared for a bitter and gory end. A massive finale isn't the only thing we should anticipate. According to actor Nikolai Koster Waldau, who plays Jamie Lannister on Game of Thrones, a major transformation in his character's appearance will also hint at what is to come. The most ambitious episodes ever we'll be seeing more giant dragons in Season 9. HBO HBO is waiting until 2019 for us to see how Game of Thrones ends for a very important reason. The final six episodes will all be feature length. In fact, the last season of Gut is so ambitious that it will cost HBO $15 million per episode. Gut sound designer Paula Fairfield told Vanity Fair, there were more dragon scenes in season 7 than in any of the other seasons combined, and we can only expect there to be even more in season 8, as our heroes gather around Daenerys Targaryen for the Great War to come. Next, the final houses the remaining players only the best remain. HBO for the last seven seasons, there have been many players in this game for the Iron Throne. Now, there are only a few players left. Recently, Collider revealed the first promo poster for the final season, which includes the sigils of the three remaining great houses, Stark, Targaryen, and Lannister. Personally, we think the Night King has the biggest chance of winning this whole thing, but Game of Thrones is known for shocking its audience. Next, a gigantic new set a million dollar castle fans are hoping for an epic battle scene. HBO though HBO is trying to keep details of Season 8 from leaking, fans are desperate for any information that they can find. Therefore, it was no surprise when set photos from a newly built castle in Belfast, Ireland hit the internet. According to Digital Spy, the castle cost HBO £1 million to build, and it is the most expensive project of its kind in Northern Ireland. We're not sure what it all means yet, but the castle could set the stage for some massive battles like the one at Hardhome or Stormborn. Next, a brand new bold appearance a very hairy Lannister he looked quite different. HBO When we first met Jamie Lannister in the freshman season of Game of Thrones, he was rocking shoulder length hair and a clean shaven face. However, that all changed at the end of Season 3. Jamie returned to King's Landing with a short haircut and a missing arm. Coster Waldau told Shortlist, he was due a haircut. Especially after spending two seasons dragged through the mud. There was a big change in the character, so a haircut is a way to signal that. For the final season of Gut, Jaime's look is going in an entirely different direction. Coster Waldau revealed, I'm shooting the last season of Thrones. Generally speaking, I'm not crazy hairy, but I have a full beard. Call me Harry Styles. Next, a kind-hearted Lannister turning over a new leaf. Jaime's character might be drastically changing. HBO Many of us were still reeling from Jaime's decision to turn his back on his sister, Cersei Lannister, something we never saw coming. Coster Waldau told Shortlist that after seven seasons, he's finally starting to get some love from GOT fans. People always say to me, I used to hate you, now I'm kind of rooting for you. That makes it fun. The last time we saw the Kingslayer, he was abandoning Cersei at King's Landing and heading out to join forces with his bearded brother Tyrion Lannister, Daenerys Targaryen, and Jon Snow to fight the White Walkers and the Army of the Dead. Perhaps the beard represents Jaime turning over a new leaf and being a good Lannister like Tyrion.
Next, Dragon's Fire A Very Dark Ending Something Big Is Coming. HBO on the DVD commentary for Season 7, Game of Thrones executives dropped clues about what we will see in Season 8. On DVD, you can hear creators David Benioff and Dan Weiss specifically asking for Cersei's map room to have an open ceiling. VFX producer Steve Kulbach said, They asked us to make the map room and exterior location in an upcoming episode, but I can't tell you why, but that'll pay off. If the Golden Company doesn't swoop in and save the day, Danny's Dragons could be the end of Cersei and King's Landing, if you recall from Season 4, that was Bran's premonition anyway. Next, Fanes of Ice the Night Queen will Jaime really slay Cersei, HBO still, there is another alternative for Cersei Lannister, and it could be that the Night King reaches King's Landing and makes her his queen, if that's the case, Jaime would most certainly have to kill his twin sister, and we can definitely see why the Kingslayer would need an epic beard for that. Follow Ermide on Twitter at Midnight Trummy. Check out the cheat sheet on Facebook.